just wondering how many years each of the separate film programs is at the different schools. Four. Four. Two. I'm sorry. Uh, how many years is the film program itself? Uh, for the entire thing, is it a two-year program? Or yeah, essentially two years. Yeah, four. Okay, next question. I, can I just clarify? Sure, so, sure. You understand that that's within two. a bachelor's yeah. degree, though. Yeah. yeah. That's a four-year degree, but two. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just, so two years. It's, of it's GED confusing. Two years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. They're all technically four years, but right. yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, uh, we had a question in the back, Kaylee. I was wondering, um, what is the percentage of students that are employed within a year after graduating in the profession itself? That's a good question. <laughs> Sounds like a question asked by a parent, yes. Well, no, I'll, I'll answer it. Sure. Um, any student that wants to work, that's graduated from USC is working in the industry. But here's, here's the catch. The student has to work to get a job. Um, and I, I think you guys will say the same thing. A lot of students graduate thinking that they're gonna walk into a career and they can't find a job or they give up too soon. And we certainly have students that do that who end up not working in the field at all. But the students, and I know this is not, I, mean, I can't give you a percentage. We're not a business school and we don't track it that way. Because a lot of our students go out and they will consult. You know, they have their own production companies. Uh, I have a student that graduated in May from our critical studies program, which is our, our, our more theory class, who just signed a deal with Sony to shoot a film based on some shorts that he did on his own. So, you know, we don't track that and say he's employed because he's working for himself. But you know, we hear back from the students, and it's usually the ones who are complaining that they can't find a job because they didn't do internships, and they're not willing to go out and network and find a job. Or, better yet, they go out and their egos are so big that they refuse to take a PA job or an assistant job or a receptionist job. And I just had a student tell me he won't take a receptionist job at Sony's main desk uh, because it's beneath him. Mm -hmm. And I just, I fell over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, terrible. it's like, that's the yeah. gateway to everybody. Yeah. So yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of, of that that we're seeing. Yeah. So if you want a job, and I, and I think, you know, we talked earlier, post-production is huge right now. Mm -hmm. There are so many editing houses out there that are hiring uh, post facilities. That's great. And a lot of our students will do that during the night. And during the day, they'll work on their films, um, you know, trying to sell their, their scripts or their shorts to, to somebody to find an agent and so forth, so. Thank you. Question over here. Um, I wanted to ask to the, uh, the two public universities. Um, have, with the, with everything we hear about the state budget and all of that, has any of the funding that comes from the state delayed the amount of time it's taking for your students to graduate? So I'll speak for UCLA, even with the budget cuts and the increases in fees and everything the students do graduate in two years. That we still offer the courses that are required and they will graduate in two years. Yeah, and at Long Beach actually, um, we're really working on an efficiency model now in terms of making sure that students get the courses they need to graduate and working on our schedules and doing a lot more advising to, to, to make sure that that happens. Um, so, who knows what the next year is going to bring, <laughs> but uh, so far we've been doing okay. Anyone else? Okay. Next question. I have a question over here, Mindy. Um, Kaylee, why don't you go ahead and bring it over here to see the woman in red? Um, my question is in regards to screen acting. I know that Chapman incorporates screen acting in your program under film and television. Do any of the other um, universities um, incorporate screen acting into your program? And if so, how? Yeah. USC, or UCLA, sorry. So, I just, so one thing I didn't mention is we're not a film school. 
and we're really, we really pride ourselves on this, actually. We're the school of theater, film, and television, and we consist of two departments, the Department of Theater and the Department of Film, Television, and Digital Media. And our two departments, actually, there's quite a bit of interplay. Um, if a student wants to take screen acting, like they want to do acting for screen, they would take that course in our theater department, and many of our film students will take those classes, and we actually really encourage that so the student, the director, understands what an actor is going through. But so it's not part of an element, like a required element of our curriculum, but it's absolutely available to the students and we encourage it. So the two, the theater department and the film department have quite a bit of inter, interplay. Kellert's um, students in the program in film and video can take acting classes, uh, both in the film directing program, but then also in our school of theater, uh, where we offer a stage acting program. Um, a lot of collaboration between the two. Um, students in the stage acting pro uh, program do take an acting for camera class. Uh, and then um, we have uh, a lot of collaborations both um, outside of classes and also inside classes. Uh, we have a class called Flixis uh, where students in the uh, acting program uh, are uh, put together with uh, directors from the film program uh, and they create a film together. Um, so a lot of opportunity for uh, students in film to get some acting experience and for acting students to get film experience. Um, at USC, if students want to take acting classes, they use their electives to take them. We don't have a formal program involved with screen acting, so. Ditto with uh, Cal State Long Beach. Separate departments, uh, nothing required, but there is a lot of informal collaboration. Next question, over here. The uh, USC representative already uh, answered my question, but for the others, um, for grads who didn't land a job in the field, how did they apply or how could they apply their background to get a job in the market? Could you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Yeah, we, I'm sorry. The j grads who didn't land a job in the field, how could they or how did they apply their backgrounds to land other jobs outside of the field? Mm. So you're coming in as a film degree and how do you land some other job um, that maybe isn't directly connected to the film industry? Okay, or, or might not be. But do you have any examples of students who graduated from your programs that went on and were able to use that to get into some other career? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a... Who'd like to I, I, take I mean, that one first? I mean, a degree from UCLA. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's it's whatever major you receive from UCLA. It's the name. It's um, it, it's you're going to learn so many skills and have so many uh, great experiences at UCLA in the film major and all of your classes that you're taking. So, um, I, I I think there really is this idea that the major that you study is going to determine your career, and it just really. It doesn't, you know, it's, it's your whole college experience and the things that you learn and, and all of your experiences in college that are gonna help you find your career. And if it's not in the related major, you know, there's other areas that you can pursue for sure. Well, and the film industry is so large too. I mean, we have a lot of students that may not be directing or editing or doing a production-based thing, but they're working at film festivals doing programming, right. or they're working in you know, film markets and distribution and buying, and, um, or they end up in marketing or something like that. So I think also we find a lot of students that may not end up in that production area or something like that, but they're still in the film industry just doing something um, maybe different, um, and maybe their goal is eventually they're gonna kind of come circle back. Um, but I think, yeah, I mean, having a college degree obviously is giving you a basis, but I think you're getting a lot of great skills in communication and, and talking with people and, and storytelling and what that means. I mean, those are all foundational things that are gonna help you um, in your job search, um, you know, no matter what you're trying to look for, so. I completely agree. Um, you know, if it's not directing, if it's not editing, there's so many other options for you. Um, the Otis School did a report on the creative economy in uh, Los Angeles and Orange County, and um, the creative economy is the fourth largest economy in Los Angeles uh, and Orange County. And one out of eight jobs is in the creative economy. There's always going to need uh, be a need for um, culture and entertainment, um, and students are. Um, you know, very well prepared. If you've studied art, you know, you've studied communication. Like, and if you're a dancer, it's communicating through your body. If it's film, it's communicating through the audiovisual form. Um, communication is key in any, you know, job. And so um, studying something that intensely 
um, is going to give you the skills necessary to find other opportunities if you don't land in a profession that's specifically what you studied. No, I mean, you're going to get financial aid from the university, for sure. Then we give out 10% of our students get merit scholarships, freshmen. Um, the scholarships that we have internally are the ones that students have to apply for once they're a student. So there's, freshmen certainly have, have opportunity for aid, for sure. And let me add one point, because you didn't, it was a question, we didn't really talk about it. Transferring, transferring is a really good option if you're bound by a budget. Um, we take in 54 transfers each year just into the film and television production division. Um, there's nothing wrong with going to a two-year school and transferring in. We have a lot of students who transfer in from Santa Monica. We have articulation agreements with a lot of those schools. You're taking your basic GEs there and then going to, to school. I know it's not you know, the, the ideal or the norm, but I think you'll see it's becoming the new norm uh, and in the future is going to be more that direction because it's just cost of education is just too much. So while you're looking at four-year schools, think about a two-year plan too. Um, you know, talk to the schools, the four years that you're going to, talk to them and see if they have a transfer plan that you can transfer into and keep that in your back pocket. Uh, it's, it's a good alternative. So, Let's follow through with that. If you can kind of address the idea of transfer students and whether or not you think that that's... Um, Good for your school, whether you'd recommend it? How, how hard is it to transfer in CalArts? Uh, for CalArts, um, uh, it depends. Uh, our character animation program curriculum is sequential, one class leads to the next. Um, therefore, uh, all students, regardless of previous college experience, begin the program as a first year student. Um, for experimental animation and program film video, uh, we do accept transfer students. Uh, and we love it if you've uh, taken care of your uh, academic courses you still have to be accepted artistically into uh, a year level. Um, you know, uh, so if you have two years of general ed, uh, but artistically you know, they like you, the faculty like you, and they like your portfolio, but they feel like you aren't quite ready, they may accept you as a second year, as a first year student. Um, so really making sure that if you're interested in transferring and interested in CalArts, um, that you keep up your art practice, that it's not all just about GE. Uh, for UCLA, transferring is an excellent idea, um, especially because during those first two years, we want you to just focus on your general ed classes. You do not need to take a single film class during those two years. You can, but you do not need to. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the majority of our applicants do transfer to our program. However, if you get accepted to UCLA as a freshman, um, you know, you're not competing as, against as many students for the 15 slots at UCLA versus the 15 slots from off-campus applicants. Yeah, Cal State Long Beach, I mean, we pride ourselves in really servicing working class and middle-income middle families, and so more than half of our students are transfer students. So we are very much geared towards that. We have articulation agreements with most community colleges in the state, and that is be increasingly becoming a state mandate to streamline that process to make make it more efficient to be able to transfer from a two-year university to a four-year university. Uh, well, as I mentioned before, uh, transferring is a little bit more difficult for us. It does depend on the major. Uh, so our film production program being probably the most difficult. Um, and I think for that one, we really do prefer to have a student for four years. Um, because we do have classes very specific um, and we like to have them spend that whole time in our program really kind of learning everything that we have. Um, and in our other majors, um, we do take transfers every year, so it is an option. Um, and it, it can be slightly competitive in some of them, um, but it is something that we look at and we do understand that when money is a factor, that is definitely something that plays into it. Um, and I think the biggest thing for us is that you're continuing your film or, or whatever experience you're doing through college. Um, because a lot of times we'll see students just kind of drop off from high school and they'll not have, they won't have anything new to show or to represent on their application. Um, and so I think you know, there is that expectation that you're continuing with it um, and either you're taking classes or doing it on your own. Um, so I think that's something that's really important to us that we look for because we want you to be able to transition into our um, you know, population of students that have been working in that um, very intensely. So we want that transition to be smooth. So keeping up on all those areas are really important for transfers. Thanks. A few uh, final questions. 
Anybody else? Okay. I'd like to thank our panelists for coming and joining us tonight. Yeah.